In this short video, I would like to show you about the white paper management at Kern AG. There's two different ways about white paper zones, formatted and unformatted ones. And the main difference is, is simple. The formatted ones, they have the sync mark, the cut mark printed on it. So basically this is pre-printed paper. Let me take a closer look onto a formatted one, what that means. This is the formatted white paper zone. So that means this would be a pre-printed paper with a logo on it. And on the upper right corner here, you see the cut mark. So basically the machine doesn't detect the reading, but it detects the cut mark. And what happens, the machine automatically detects that and automatically diverts this under the grouping table. Here is a closer look to that cut mark in the upper right corner. This part over here, this is a part of a white paper zone, which has nothing on it. So we don't see a reading for the machine. We don't see a cut mark. There is nothing on it. In case we have a white paper zone like that, the machine operator has to confirm if he sees white paper. And that's the only difference between unformatted white paper and formatted white paper. The formatted one, the machine automatically detects because there is only the reading missing, while the unformatted one, the machine doesn't automatically detect, and therefore the machine operator quick has to confirm, yes, I see the white paper zone, and yes, the white paper zone is over. I'm over at the machine and here you see the unwinder followed by the 996 cutter. First we see the scanners that identify the mill pieces followed by the paper separator and then there's a grouping table and underneath that grouping table this is where the machine diverts the white paper. Here's the white paper which is being processed into the machine and the machine automatically diverts now the white paper. Let me quick summarize what you have seen. So I showed you an automated way how to process white paper zones. In this video, we showed you how to process format-based white paper zones. This means there's a cut mark, but no reading. So the machine knows based on the cut mark what to divert. The machine recognizes this and diverts the white paper into the bin underneath the grouping table at the 996. In case there is nothing on it, no cut mark, no reading, nothing. There's a difference. The machine operator quick has to confirm on the man and machine interface of our 996 that he doesn't see anything printed, that there's a white paper zone. The machine keeps processing that white paper zone and diverts the white paper into the same destination underneath the grouping table at the 996. Once the print comes back, the machine recognizes that and the machine operator again has to confirm on the man and machine interface, yes, the printing is back. So I hope this video was a little useful for you. In case you have any questions, just reach out to my friends. They're more than happy to answer your questions. And I'm saying bye now.